Uh, Josh, you have a, a question for Dax and Adam. Yeah. Um, the Alec Baldwin uh, story is really kind of creeped me out. Um, I know I've, I've read the story. I know that he didn't know that he had a live round in the gun. He pointed it at someone and pulled the trigger. Um, it kind of reminded me of the old, you know, Brandon Lee mm-hmm. uh, shooting from The Crow. Mm-hmm. This was uh, 1994, I think. So almost 30 years ago. And it has that kind of, this is, I feel like this may never be settled. I feel like it could have an air of, because Alec Baldwin, Alec Baldwin is so huge that I feel like this is something that may never really get settled. I feel really, really bad for him because I really, really like him. So what, do, what do you mean by settled, Josh? I just mean that I don't feel like anyone's going to ever know. I mean, what evidence can they find? Oh, that's I gonna, see. You know, do, 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 you know what there I mean? would not be. Yeah, I see. I see what you mean. Let's see what these guys say. There, in other words, like no, no blame ascribed, right? Which is well, the, there's the way someone that put a live round in the gun, so there's going to be someone that has to be responsible for this because there, there's a life now that's been taken because of this accident. But, but we don't know. But maybe that was a gun that was. But if somebody was there. I heard they were, you know, doing target practice with guns the evening before. Maybe yeah, it was but a, who does target practice with guns? I, I don't know. That are on I, I don't know. Like, and maybe they were, maybe they put it down somewhere where you know non cold stuff goes, and somebody picked it up and said, "Oh, that's that, the gun for the next scene." And I, I like a, a comedy of errors. Let's even, put it that yeah, way. even if it was a, a huge error on someone's part, there has to be a consequence for. There well, is now a life that has been taken there, because there will of be. your lack of judgment or your lack of caring. It, it's going to be it's going to be under the category of sort of negligence, yeah. right? That, that's really where it's going to go. Which is that, that to me, that's just the saddest thing when negligence results in. Uh, it's just horrible. I'm just curious how it's going to change movie making going forward. You know, the the is there going to be like a police officer on? I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do going forward for the well, given and stuff. given how insane the sets have become around COVID. I can just imagine that there'll be some similar kind of weird structural bureaucracy that goes in place now for guns and ammunition. Yeah, they're and, more worried about and, COVID than whether yeah, or not I was there say, was a bullet and, in the gun. And probably that's where their energy should go to something like that, right? Gun safety is really important. They, they've gone so far overboard with COVID. But it is interesting that you hear all the people that were on set saying that they weren't following protocols and they were there was but do, do you hear that explicitly issues. yeah but you hear vague like oh and then they had the big walk out to... in the morning and they were angry I, people and... nothing worse than a disgruntled employee for a source of good information you know what i mean i mean i just it's biased mm-hmm. already i just i just i don't like people condemning look he may be responsible we already talked about how his interview looked a little bit uh, wish he hadn't done that uh but I hate people condemning him. We're not judge and yeah. jury. You know what I mean? We How let, is let he them do the yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't bring I the wouldn't gun put loaded the to show. Responsibility on him. Even if you, even if you didn't like his politics, or don't, I mean, don't don't do that. Don't be a part of this. The, let's let's stop doing the mob stuff. You know, right. which is another thing. The the mob action of social media. Do you guys have any opinion about that? Do you like it? Does it? No. Do you use who it? Likes the do you get involved culture? with no it? No one likes the cancel culture. Good. All right. It's good. Canceled, good. It, the media yeah, I like that. Into it though. You know, that's what it is. You know, the media is. Is it's trying to make money. They need to make entertainment. Either you like them or you root for them or you don't like them. It's you wonder if there would be this much press if it wasn't on someone who wasn't Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin's someone who's had some battles, public battles with a lot of people in politics. And you wonder if now some outlets are saying, you know what, I want to throw more gas on the fire because it's Alec Baldwin. Well, they are just they're just sort of they I, the 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 primitive and unfortunately lower human motivation is to give him a taste of his own medicine. See, how do you like it? That's disgusting, everybody. Don't do that. It's a horrible tragedy. Let's just Terrible. deal with it as such. That that's it. He'll never and, and by the way, what's whatever happened to the day? You know, I had a really interesting experience with my daughter uh, with this book we wrote. She and I have different points of view. Okay, not vastly different, but different. And in the in the course of uh, promoting the book, I got to really understand her politics and her point of view and her worldview. And I and it was it was important for me to get my head around it. And I ended up admiring it. I admired the contract. I admired what she stood for. I admired what she was doing. I didn't agree with it, but I could also admire it at the same time. Whatever happened to that? It was such a unique experience in today's world. I thought we got to do more. Oh, there's the book. Go get the book, everybody. Uh, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Is that does that feel like something that's been missing? 
just admiring different perspectives. Yes, being yeah, able to absolutely. not not want to destroy different perspectives, well, but disagree and say I admire your point yeah, of view. It's I'm letting go of the generation gap. I, yeah, I think people have forgotten. Like we can all be different, and that's okay. What?